I'm not going to do the whole, show you the whole thing, but just so you get an idea of what I'm doing. What I'm looking for is the softest spots. And, uh, yeah. See, the front end's usually not the worst. It's, it's, it's never usually there. It's all the, basically the integrity of the vehicle really, well, yeah, it starts up here, but see, in there is good. But it's back, like, really starts with your drivetrain that you, you know, it's pretty leaky on, ah, is that my oil filter? That's where it is. I found it. Hey, I can get at that. I think that's my oil filter. It should be my oil filter. That's actually convenient. That's actually not too bad. How did that happen? Usually vehicles nowadays are designed in such a way that you have to put it up on a hoist to get the oil filter off it. Well, that's pretty good if it's right there. Okay. We'll assess the engine in a second. I'm going to do this side now. Uh, yeah, if this thing doesn't have a metal fuel tank, maybe. <laughs> that's pro okay, well, may maybe there might be hope yet, but I... I what happened to my dash? I gotta figure that out. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get into the engine bay last. It's really all about the rust, guys. Really all about the rust. And uh, this door might not be as bad as the other one. <laughs> you know, it's funny when you speak too soon, eh? Actually, no, it's not. It's only maybe about an inch or so in. But it's not there. That's really bad. It's right under here, right where the you know, the, the others, I, I don't know what I could do to fix that up uh, so it's safe. You know, I really don't want a dangerous vehicle going down the road. And this is going to need all kinds of front end and brakes. And I don't know. I don't know. Because no matter, I'm at this point where no matter what, it, just to keep it safely going down the road is $1,500. And that's no guarantee everything is going to stay running. And what can you get for $1,500 if you hold out? of $1,500 that I do not even have. So I can't even afford to fix it. But if I take my time and it takes me a couple of months, I don't care if it takes me a couple of months. I don't care if it has to sit for three months uh, to get all the parts. Uh, as long as I can get it working. But then again, by the time you have the money for the parts, you have the money for possibly another vehicle. What a decision. I have two days to make it. Uh, mind you, I thought the the, uh, the van was already taken off the road, but apparently it wasn't. So if the insurance was on, uh, uh, well, I could probably drive this today if I want, but I don't know what happened to my dash. Like, my dash just probably blew a fuse or something like that, but why? You know, like, what what, pro what new problems there? So and I'm going to assess the rest of the van, and I'll go from there. <laughs> 